Sup Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This will be a read for Virgo. If you have a Virgo placement, tap in. Virgo, let's see what your current energies are. So you have Lord God, masculine's energy. So I feel like this has everything to do with God, being God-oriented or very God-focused. I also get there could be a sound being played when it comes to God. So I feel like this is more of a frequency that uh, you could be vibing on or someone else. I'm also getting something about a Capricorn's energy. I also see something about a masculine person. So I feel like this could be masculinity. So I feel like there could be uh, an approach. I'm going to say an approach and then masculinity. Um, I'm also seeing something about Christmas time or I feel like this has something to do with um, lights. So I feel like someone's shining or I feel like something about the, a song shining or I feel like someone has jewels or jewelry or I feel like this has something to do with a person um, making something right or new or getting something new or I feel like something about the song brand new here as well. Um, so a commitment, Virgo. I feel like someone's committing or you're committing. I also get there could be someone who's very passionate over you. Keep getting that same energy as well. Someone being passionate over you, Virgo, or I feel like someone could be evil. I feel like someone's just very attracted to you. <clears throat> I feel like this is your mouth or the way you speak or I feel like this has everything to do with group activity. So you have uh, I love you and then you have shady here. So I feel like this has something to do with a person hiding their true feelings for you. I feel like the truth is they love you. Okay, so you have mirroring. So watching, paying attention very closely. Um, identification as well, Virgo. A mirror, a, mirror uh, a magnifying glass is what I'm seeing here. So I feel like there could be someone mirroring when it comes to you, tethering themselves to you, or I feel like someone's um, looking directly at you type of energy. Let's see. I feel like someone's focused on you, Virgo. Okay, so you have true color. So this is their true color. <laughs> that they're focused on you, or I feel like this is uh, their true color, that they're attracted to you. I feel like it's very, very vital for you to know that they're attracted to you. Left you hanging, no closure, no contact, left on red. So left on vitality. I forgot, I feel like you left someone in the heat of a moment or something about the word surge. So being flexible, I feel like something is manageable or something is flexible. So the Ace of Wands with the uh, Eight of Wands. So communication or I feel like some type of um, message you could be receiving from a person. You could leave someone on red or I feel like they're leaving you on red or I feel like this has something to do with no contact or no contract or no closure to whatever so i feel like someone's reflecting virgo when it comes to you i feel like you see their true colors of a person let's see okay so you have the knight of pentacles so virgo taurus or capricorn's energy praiseworthy energy motive i feel like you see eye to eye with the motive at least or i feel like this has something to do with work getting something done the song hard work so virgo i feel like someone's telling you to never give up never give in never quit type of energy so you have the six of swords gemini leave aquarius is energy followed by the sun card so there could be hidden helpers uh virgo is what i'm seeing here or i feel like something about the expansion of a person or a situation or group i feel like this group is expanding well surrounding leo's energy or i feel like something about hidden helpers a spiritual group or something to that nature i feel like you're moving on uh, quite well 
my hand is itching. Like, as soon as I started this reverb, my hand started fucking itching. So, I don't know. I feel like someone's going to receive, Virgo. This could be you. I feel like you're open or be open to receive some type of blessing. Okay, so you have the Five of Cups. Oh, goodness. Also, Virgo... <laughs> So cleansing is what I'm picking up on. This could have something to do with the cleanse or three-step process or the process of whatever. For many of you guys, I feel like something is working out or it will work out in your favor. Heavy emphasis on the word favor today. Virgo Taurus or Capricorn's energy. So expertise or expansion or I feel like someone's um, finishing up something, Virgo. They're wrapping that shit up and I feel like it's coming to together quite well. I feel like someone's trying to leave something separate or I feel like someone may be leaving something out or they should. I feel like that would be the advice. So you have the tower card. Excuse me, Virgo. So that could be revelation of someone leaving something out, leaving a piece of information out, not telling you the whole truth. Um, with the tower card, this could speak of a dismantling of some type of energy as well. So. I feel like um, something is about to change for the better. I feel like you're getting somewhere, you're going somewhere. I feel like you're getting to that favorite spot or that energy that you're looking for, Virgo more so, a favorable type of energy, a praiseworthy type of energy, the activation or expansion of whatever. For many of you, I feel like this is God being activated uh, within you, the seed of God being directly in you for many of you guys. I feel like this is something you could know. You could have praiseworthy energy when it comes to the seed of God. Ten of Swords, there could be humiliation or uh, energy that's very hard to maneuver. Ten of, uh, I said Ten of Swords, excuse me. Ten of Wands, did I say Ten of Swords? Ten of Wands, so Ten of Swords. Ten Swords, something about demons, the possessions of demons, or I feel like this has something to do with people who are trying to take, steal, rob, or whatever the case may be. So the possession of whatever that energy is, right? So I feel like this has something to do with, Virgo, um, the Ten of Wands with the Queen of Pentacle. So burden when it comes to a business, burden when it comes to this is more of personal care so i feel like um someone finds it very hard to take care of themselves virgo taurus or capricorn energy or i feel like this is groups collectives groups of people when it comes to praiseworthy energy or the hard work that's put in like i said virgo my hand is itching so i feel like something about working harder putting more time in putting more effort into whatever this could be a commitment a relationship or something like that I feel like that's what someone's trying to do with you I feel like that's what they're reflecting on putting more time in with you I feel like it took a certain or someone took something I feel like someone stole something Virgo. seven of wands Aries Leo or Sagittarius is energy so <sighs> something has backfired on a person I feel like this has backfired or some type of disruption or dismantling of a conspiracy or I feel like you're protected from whatever occurred or happened by God, right? And then there's someone who's focused on putting time in with you now. I feel like someone wasn't very focused on putting time in with you, let's say two or three days ago, but now they want to put some time in with you today or, you know, in the upcoming future, whatever the case may be, right? So you have the Hermit's card, Virgo's energy, or there's introspection surrounding this. The Seven of Pentacles with the Seven of Cups, two seven, 77 here. So I feel like deception on both ends. So 700 on the horses. So I feel like someone could be betting on the horse, like they said. So you have the uh, Six of Pentacles with the uh, Strength card. So there could be unexpected energy when it comes to Leo, or I feel like wicked identification surrounding the exchange with the Leo. I feel like the Leo's more so confused the Leo's more so um, doing introspection, spiritual introspection, or I feel like more care or proper care when it comes to the Leo with the Queen of Pentacles and the Moon card. I feel like someone could be depressed more so over their health or someone could be depressed over the health of whatever, a business, a physical body, whatever the case may be, person. Um, I feel like something's coming along quite well. For many of you guys, I see you taming a beast around the current exchanges or I feel like the exchange surrounding um, Cancer Pisces, surrounding Cancer Pisces or Scorpio energy shrines. So 
So something about shrines is what I'm picking up on here, surrounding the Leo's energy. Yay, yay. Hello, yay, yay. Um, strength card, Six of Pentacles, shrines, because kind of correlates. Okay, so you have the Nine of Cups. Two of Wands with the Ace of Wands. So I feel like there's projection. I also see you moving in a different direction, Virgo. Heavy emphasis on moving in a different direction. Or I feel like this is nervous energy or wicked identification when it comes to someone's strength or skill. Um, Queen of Cups, Six of Wands. I feel like someone's very, very victorious or sensitive too. Um, I feel like someone could be making like offers to spirit. That's what I'm seeing here. Or the spiritual side or aspect of things. Virgo, this is what I'm getting. I'm going to leave it here because this energy just, um, it's, it's kind of a bothering type of energy. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and Virgo, I'll get with you.